Hey guys, Chuck here, and today I'm going to talk about the NVIDIA G-Sync Do-It-Yourself Kit for the ASUS VG248QE monitor. In the background, you'll notice some domination gameplay on Dawnbreaker with the M240 Bravo. This was uh, one of my first rounds with uh, the new G-Sync um, mod for the ASUS monitor. Um, for those that don't know what G-Sync is, um, it's a technology from NVIDIA that allows your monitor and your GPU to sync the refresh rates so they're refreshing at the same time. This eliminates tearing and stuttering as well as reducing input lag by delivering a sharper picture and a smooth level of performance. Right now, the kit is only available for the ASUS VG248QE monitor. However, NVIDIA will be releasing um, some other kits later on in the year for uh, some of the BenQ monitors. Right now, the price tag is right around $200. So if you currently don't have a compatible monitor, probably better to wait a little bit till uh, later on in the year. I believe right around Q2, you'll start to see some of the actual G-Sync ready to monitors released. Uh, one of the ones I've seen was at uh, CES was the ASUS ROG Swift PG278Q which had a price tag of right around $800 so hopefully that will kind of lower the cost of the kits as well as some of the monitors that you'll be able to mod but if you already have one of the compatible monitors and are looking at getting the kit I would say it's probably going to be worth your money um, it gives it the hype surrounding the performance and everything like that, it's, you know, I think it's justifiable. Um, you know, the lack of input lag now, uh, no tearing, no stuttering, it's, I, it's, you know, as advertised, and it's definitely worth it in my opinion. Um, just a couple things uh, real quick, though. Um, Obviously, when you're modding your monitor, you, of course, are going to void your warranty on said monitor. And I know I've been using the ASUS VG248QE for about six months now, and you're going to lose a lot of your on-screen display options, like the splendid options, things like that. But you do have some options within the G-Sync on-screen display that allow you to uh, adjust some of the RGB controls and you can also can control some of that stuff from your NVIDIA control panel so as far as that goes I don't think you're really losing as much as some people might think they are but when compared to what you get in performance it it's really a non-issue you know like I said before no tearing no stuttering no input lag you know stuff like that in the FPS world is you know priceless Will G-Sync give you an advantage over other players? I don't think so, at least not in the sense that, you know, most people typically associate having an advantage over other players. Um, I think what it will do, though, it's going to give you, allow you to get the max performance out of your machine. Every, you know, frame that your GPU is rendering, you're going to see at your monitors, you know, max refresh rate or whatever you have the G-Sync refresh rate set to. In my case, I have it set to my monitor's max refresh rate of 144 frames per second. As you can see in the upper right hand corner throughout the video, what I'm actually, what the GPU is actually rendering and what I'm actually seeing. So I don't, I don't think it's gonna give you an advantage. It's definitely not gonna make you a better player or anything like that, but you are gonna have a much smoother, a better looking um, gameplay experience and of course you know you're gonna get very very solid great performance out of your machine so that's pretty much it for uh, G-Sync um, again I guess in closing I would say it lives up to the hype um, so I think it definitely lives up to the hype um, the price tag on it is a little steep right now so if you can wait to get it I would certainly suggest doing that but if you you know just have to have it or you you know are in a situation where you can get it I would suggest you do that and you will definitely not be disappointed as it will deliver and uh, you'll be very pleased with it so that's gonna wrap it up for this guys um, thanks for watching if you like the video give it a like if you did not like it, 
If you dislike it, you can give the old thumbs down. Um, if you like what you see on the channel, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, feel free to comment below. And uh, we'll catch you next time, guys. Laters.